Hey guys, Video Fort Colin here, and today we're going to learn how to use Premiere Pro CC 2014's uh, automatic mask tracking. Now, this new feature can easily streamline your editing process because it enables the editor to create a mask from any effect they choose, then instead of having to keyframe over a series of hours to match up uh, and cover something like a license plate or to blur a person's face, uh, the program itself will create a track following that object's motion. So in our case here, we would like to cover up the name Rubicon on the side of this boat. So well, how do I do that? The first step is you want to go down to your effects browser down here. And you want to type in mosaic to give the blurred effect. There it is. And now drop it right on top of whatever media you're wanting to use it on. So now that creates the entire clip with a mosaic effect, and obviously we don't want that. We want it to be isolated to just the name Rubicon. So you want to go to your effects control bar up top, or wherever you've put it. And uh, now you'll see we have an option to uh, create a circular mask or a four-point polygon mask. In this case, I'm going to be using the four-point polygon mask, and I'm going to resize it right here, like this. So now uh, that I've resized uh, this isolated mask and the entire clip is not in the mosaic form, I can rotate it, get it perfect, there we go. And now you'll see we have a um, new button here that looks like a play button and uh, once you click it, it will automatically track that mask to uh, whatever object you had covered up. So like I said, in that case, it was the name Rubicon. So now if we play it back, you'll be able to see that it did in fact follow the name Rubicon the entire way and only slipped up once or twice and revealed the letter R, which is a very easy fix in the new CC 2014. So right here you can see it revealed the letter R and I can just change that keyframe right there like that. Okay, so it's still revealing the letter R a little bit, so scooch it up. You can resize it any time during that sequence of keyframes. And now the name Rubicon on that side of the ship has been completely covered. So now play back, and if someone were to be watching this, they would not be able to tell what the name of the boat is, with the exception of it saying Rubicon many times on the ship. So you could use this for a license plate or blurring a person's face or whatever you want. Now I can change the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks uh, to make it a little bit crisper. So even though we can't we still cannot read uh, what it says, we can clearly see there is a name on the side of the ship, so it's not so obvious that um, uh, the blur will take away from um, the effect and the attention of the audience.